Hi hey you guys, it's another video in my Samsung Galaxy S3 and HTC One X series that I've been uploading to YouTube. Uh, a few people have asked recently about Apex Launcher and certainly the launcher I'm using, Apex Launcher Beta 1.3, which has some uh, Jelly Bean features that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, briefly, I'm going to go through a few of the uh, ways I've set up uh, Apex Launcher on my handset and uh, give you some tips and tricks that you can do on yours. Uh, to show you the difference between the standard Apex Launcher and the Jelly Bean Launcher, if I hold the uh, Weather Witcher at the top and I start to move it around the screen, you can see just like in Jelly Bean that's uh, out on limited handsets at the moment, you can see everything's starting to jump and move out of the way. Uh, that's a feature of the uh, beta version of uh, Apex. The widget I'm using for the clock at the top, uh, if we click quickly uh, double tap on the screen and we'll go into, I should say long press on the screen, we'll go back again, long press on the screen, go to widgets, scroll down the list, and the clock widget I'm using at the top is called Fancy Widgets and the one I'm using is 4.2. Now when you open it you get various uh, clock widgets, some emulate uh, the HTC clock widget and others are uh, slightly different. There's various uh, clock widgets you can download and weather widgets that uh, come in the settings but once you choose the widget you want you've got the option within the settings to make it transparent, alter the fonts and change Fahrenheit to centigrade etc etc. So we'll quickly get out of that, just give me a brief view of that. Let's quickly show you it works. If you click on the uh, the weather part or the uh, sun or clouds or whatever happens to be on there, it'll take you to a weather and it'll give you a synopsis for the next few days. If you click back and click on the degrees, it'll take you into the different uh, interfaces so you can change the theme. If you click on the clock, on the first part of the clock, it'll take you into your alarm settings so you can set your alarm for uh, an early morning alarm or a meeting. If you click on the second part of the clock, it'll actually take you into all the settings for fancy widgets. So that's fancy widgets that I'm using as my main clock. If we go back to the home screen again, and I'll go over to a few of the screens, you can see I've got some widgets that, uh, to be honest, are pretty similar to uh, HTC uh, widgets in their sense uh, versions. Uh, this particular one is uh, a news feed that aggregates news feeds and you can update and refresh it. Uh, the other way I've got a timeline which actually works very similar to uh, Friendstream on uh, HTC. Uh, virtually the same, you can post there, you can update it, you can go to various people on there etc etc. Now these particular widgets, again if we go to a bit of a blank screen I'll show you again. Uh, we go to widgets. This particular pack is called APW widgets. So if you go to the app market, again it's a free app, the same as the clock, APW widgets and you get a, an array of widgets. So the first one you get is bookmarks which will give you a screen for all your internet bookmarks. You get a calendar widget, Facebook widget if you want Facebook on its own. You get a Google reader which I use, a messaging uh, widget, people widget, uh, AP say what, I, I've not tried that one out so I don't really know what it is, timeline widgets in various sizes. So you get quite a few widgets with that you can swap and change around. So they're the widgets I'm using on various screens. When I flick through you can see uh, large widgets I'm using on some of the screens. There's the uh, calendar widget so you can go from calendar to uh, what's happening now by clicking on it. Nothing in my calendar at the moment. You can uh, move back and forwards, go through various months of the year. This is the timeline that aggregates uh, Twitter and Facebook in one place so you can actually post directly from there or reply to a feed. So if you click on a feed takes you to the feed, you can like it, like it, make a comment, etc, etc. Uh, going through to other screens, what else have we got? This is an aggregated uh, news feed, so you, you can set it to any newspaper you want, and you can go to feeds that work through uh, Google Reader. So, for instance, uh, go to that feed there, take you into your Google Reader to start with, and I'll give you a brief synopsis at the top. You click on the main feed, choose where you want to use, Internet, Chrome, or whichever browser you're using at the moment and it'll take you over to the newspaper cutting and you can uh, see the web feed on the newspaper. So I'll give that a second to load, quite a slow internet connection at the moment. So as you can see it'll load up on the newspaper and you can set it to mobile view or web view or whatever so you get the uh, general idea of that one. Uh, some other features that uh, are built into the, the Apex Launcher you have gestures and shortcuts, obviously the double tap like I've shown you will give you uh, your system settings, Apex sit settings, you can manage your screens from there, etc, uh, etc. Et if we go out of that, quickly back out of that. If you, I use a two finger swipe on mine which is set up in settings, if I swipe down with two fingers it will bring up my task manager so it saves me pressing any buttons and I can remove all from there and work through that, it's uh, quite an easy way to do it. 
Now you may have noticed on the screens, on each of uh, my screens, all my icons are uh, a general white colour. There's no uh, colour in there. They're not cartoonish like the standard TouchWiz uh, icons. I'll quickly show you how to change them. You can change any icon. You can change any uh, default uh, folder. I'll do it on a folder first and I'll show you what I'm doing on a folder in a minute. So if I uh, click and hold on any folder, say the news folder there, so I click and I'll long press and it'll give me uh, an option to remove, edit, batch edit, etc. Uh, etc. Et if I click on edit, first of all you can uh, change the name of the folder or if I click again on the icon that I've got for the folder it'll give me a set of four things I can do. I can use a picture, I can use the default icon excuse me, I can uh, select and crop a picture or I can select an icon from an icon pack. So if I go back to the default icon and go OK and you can see now the icon is an open box icon with the icons displayed inside. So if I click on it and click out you can see the icon. If I want to change it to the minimal view I've got, if I click on edit again and don't change the name of the file but the folder, but if I click on select from an icon pack you can see I've got ADW elegant icon pack downloaded. Now if you go to the Play Store any icon pack for any launcher, Nova, Apex, any of the launchers out there are all compatible. So what it'll do, it'll download the icon packs and store them on your device, but they'll automatically be aggregated into Apex or Nova, whichever one you want to choose. Now, in Apex, in this particular one I've got downloaded, I chose this pack because it's uh, pretty minimal, white icons. So what you basically do you search for an icon that matches whatever you are using, say Google Chrome or uh, Internet or whatever you wanted, Google Plus for instance, a few Google Pluses is, it's one for uh, Play Music, Google Talk, Navigate, so that most of your icons are in the icon pack, uh, YouTube etc etc. The reason I picked that one quickly is because there's a myriad to search through to change them over, so I picked the one I know is exactly easy to find at the top of the screen, so I click the one at the top for folder again click OK and as you can see it's reverted to uh, the folder icon that I've got before. So uh, very neat, very straightforward. Also with an Apex you get the option to have as many sort of icons in the bottom screen as you want. You can you can have this fixed so you just have a five or you can scroll across and keep adding. You can take them away. You can drag and drop one icon onto another one. You can take that onto there and that will make a folder. So very very easy to use. Open that up again. If I open open that folder there and I can drag the phone icon back into the dock below so everything's drag and droppable. If you want to delete an application from the app tray, uh, the app tray you can have uh, the background matching your wallpaper on uh, your main screen. To do that on your app tray I'll show you in a minute how to set the opacity to the background on your app drawer. Uh, to, to get rid of any application that you've actually got on your device that you no longer want uh, to be honest I use everything but I'll just show you the gist of it you just basically get hold of an icon and you can drag it up to the top to app info and let it go and it will give you app info and from there you can uninstall it but there's also most of the apps that are on the screen you can actually dra drag them up to the top of the screen and it will actually uninstall them as well so not all of them but particular ones you can see that one now it's got app info or uninstall so if I drag and drop it and drops in the box at the top to uninstall instead of having to go through the rigmarole of going into your settings to uninstall you can actually open an icon drag it up to the top of the screen and remove from the app drawer and obviously uninstall I'll remove that because I've just moved it across so back in the app drawer you see that's still there so if I wanted to remove any uh, application on the phone just drag and drop it into uninstall you want to check it out drag and drop it into app info uh, if I drag it, drag it into App Info, it'll give us all the details on it, what it's running. You can clear defaults from there on any icon. So, for instance, if we go back into the App Drawer and we look for Downloaded and we look for Apex Launcher, for instance. Apex Launcher at the moment is set for the default, default launcher on this. So if I click the Home screen, it will always go to Apex. Every time I click uh, the Home screen, it'll set default to Apex. If I go to Settings again and we get Apex Launcher, and I go into App Info and I go to Clear Defaults and then I press the home screen. You can see now I've got the TouchWiz or Apex Launcher. So in either of these, say you decide to make your TouchWiz or your HTC Sense your default launcher, it works both ways. The only thing with HTC or TouchWiz, you'd have to do that through the app drawer uh, in uh, the app Applications Manager through uh, the settings at the top as opposed to this method. But certainly if you wanted to get info and change the defaults, you can do it for Apex or any other 
application that you've got on your phone. So what you need to do now, if you want to keep your Apex Launcher as default, you click this little box, click Apex, and every time you click on the home button, if I'm on another screen, click on the home button, you you just stay in uh, Apex, so it's pretty uh, set and standard. Uh, what else can we say? So if double tap on the screen, any blank part of the screen, you go to Apex settings. You've got home screen settings. So if you go down, you've got different transitions. Click on the transition effects. You've got multiple transitions. So we'll go. For instance, I use scale. It's the one I prefer. So say we go to wheel, and then we go home again. And now you can see as I change from screen to screen, you've got lots of different transitions you can use. You can use cube in, cube out, you can have them whizzing around, card effect, spirals, windmill, the, the infinite the type of uh, effects you can actually have. So tap again, I'll go to Apex settings and I'll go back to home screens and I'll go back to uh, 